All right, let's whoa, almost crash. Holy fucking. <laughs> Good morning lads! Live in Val Nord. We're climbing, taking the left, because obviously I'm not walking up the track. We're going to do the track inspection with all the Valda crew, make sure everything is all right, because we are the World Championship Master last week. Then now it's going to be, I mean, obviously, if they didn't take the old track, then that's good because save the big new part for the boys for the World Cup. See if everyone is all, everything is all right. The padding, the security, everything will have to be done in a World Cup track. To make everything clear, we are here with David Vasquez there. We're going to walk the track to see if the security is good and uh, if we have to do any changes. That's always a little bit of a scary moment for us because we try our best and we see if everything is okay and legit to the UCI. This is David hey, Vasquez here and this employee. Enjora. Hey, we done the right, we're going to fucking kill it. Because <laughs> that's the way it is. Except if Raul is coming with us, he might kill us. Alright, this is the start, boys. With the first corner, first jump, first double, all the way to here. As you can see, a lot of people have been casing it. Masters, I guess. Alright, boys, we just changed a little bit here. We were supposed to go behind the trees before, but now we're going straight because we need to save some energy for the people. Because why? That try, when it goes down, is just getting harder and harder. Make sure the competition is going to be at the right place, not uh, giving up too much to the people who have the biggest legs at the top. We're going there to the first bridge right now. That's uh, where you're going to be able to recover a little bit. First jump out of the bridge. You can see some speed bump that definitely did some work here. And we did the corner here. Yeah, boy. Like any work in every uh, country, 10 will watch and 1 will work. Just uh, clean a little bit of trail, first jumps now. We have over there Josep Matisseya, director of PAL. As you can see the jump, we go over that double. And we're starting another part of a big off camber before the technical part. You cannot chill out. If you chill out, you're going to pay the price. And if you attack too much, you're going to pay anyway at the bottom of the track. Because it's a long track, it's difficult, then you need to be able to know what you're doing. That's why practice are for roots all over the place. They're dry. If it rain, it's going to be even more technical. And that's what we love in two mountain biking. We're not in Leo Gang, we're in a real track here. All right, I'm, uh, I'm in a walking area right now. We got some massive rain. Look what the rain did. But the boys been working hard. They make a tunnel over there. I don't know if you see. We build outside for the spectator. Those logs where the boss is working over there. Special bridge like this. They can get close to the truck, but without <laughs> suffering themselves. This could be a good bow. All right. I think you can see better from here. Look at steep it is, and look at that corner there, and it's all off camera. Then, uh, yes, that track is challenging, and it's only the beginning. <laughs> right now, we are on the big off camera. Big that left corner I show you was off camera, and now it's a long, long, long off camera before those big switchback before the CG show, those big jumps. It's a little bit off camera, off camera, and uh, really hard, really hard to stay on the top here. Then I think uh, probably the best was uh, to stay on the bottom line and try to curve in into the corner before the switchback. But look how gnarly out the rocks. Now, how you see them? Line there. Really hard. Here we go. Left corner into the big switchbacks. Brand new. They make them higher this year. Drop. <laughs> A big drain for the rain to make sure the water don't go into the track. You never know. Danger zone. Like I say, if today we race, it would be a perfect day, perfect grip, perfect dirt, all brand new, beautiful. Don't forget it's a World Cup, it's not a championship of uh, France or whatever it is, it's a real World Cup. Look at the view, big fence all over the place to make sure riders don't go over the bar. It's going to be some massive pictures here with this background, pretty sick. First big jump from the CG show, we have a bar next to it, perfect. Just for me. <laughs> Table. And here we go. Look at this. Full of wood. 
<laughs> this is a proper drain for the water and it's not going to affect the riders and something I wanted to show you check this out CG show bar track public access and a big berm and we're ready to go and look at the view here we go the container don't even look like a container this is going to be a perfect spot for all spectators who want to see a little bit more of the race and be more live we're going to have probably a Red Bull truck there with music it's going to be food it's going to be beverage it's going to be fiesta time now we are after the switchbacks new little jump before it was a basically a corner not many people was taking now they have to take it and it's going to make like a kind of switchback and to enter the woods again after the switchback we enter in the wood section again you can see one of the only track oh now <laughs> probably the only one you have to use your head to know which line you have to take because it is many lines outside inside two down here inside or outside depends if you want to take the top of the the big off camber here or if you want to stay in the line at the bottom two options this is where the team manager is going to be with the timing they're going to be there that's their job that's going to be a working really working place here for the pilot for the for the riders right there you see the two line one at the bottom and one at the top definitely no down moment in that track that that track you don't win in any one spot you have to be good everywhere oh, yeah. so sick now you can see how off camera it is because i know it's hard to see from the top to the bottom and it's better to do it from the bottom to the top because you see two lines is behind there the other line from the top coming in there hard braking two lines again getting out of the woods we just make the corner a little bit higher and we made that jump over there it's not too big you're coming with high speed jump that double into a left corner peaches are going to be so massive with a beautiful background of ordino we live in paradise this is paradise all clean smooth perfectly packed jumping into a right corner left and right and jump the road there open space here for spectators guys another great spot to go and watch after the off campers entering into that tech section as you can see the rocks are putting in here but this is what they make Andorra so special it's a big variation between dirt rocks roots steep jumps you name it we have it see they cut the grass everywhere to make sure the riders can see different lines and I'm not scared about what is behind the grass because sometimes you never know I paid the price in Italy a couple years ago when I land on the stump here two line another spot as well line choice is going to be important I don't want to say it too many times but it is inside or outside depends on what you prefer and what is faster and what your team manager is going to film and tell you what to do or what is faster that's part of uh, racing you need people on the side of the trail to tell you what is a line or what they've been looking at all the rider those people are your eyes on the track more line choice here outside or inside into another right corner you will see the off camera is pretty naughty as well some, some rocks like i just showed you earlier and we're going to add up into the big off camber look at this baby this is off camber i was telling you about as you can see breaking bumps everywhere already big roots there and here easier you cut in there Oh, you go there we used to be able to jump from there to there but i don't think it's possible now it's a little bit too sketchy outside you can cut in behind uh, that thing or you go here and you go around you go straight here and go around that big bump over there everything is getting tired don't forget you're going to do a lot of practice and practice herbs i think that section been famous from aaron green getting out of the track <laughs> red bull media house doing uh, all over the place uh, some chrono race i think they have uh, many of them should i take this oh they look at me no i don't take <laughs> out of the bridge into i don't know if you can see off camber into a right corner someone is going to eat shit by the way big up to this man he's the guy in charge of the world cup and to girona first Euro classic good shit Ah, oh, and now uh, I need to film the most beautiful guy here in Val Nord and La Masana, the mayor. Look at this. Everyone think it's my dad. 
Probably, <laughs> probably he is. Maybe I need to talk to my mom. You don't want to deal with him if he asks for money, you better give the money. The famous bridge, look at this near exit. Big, big, big holes. Oh, you go Brittany line around and that's pretty good. Well, he proved it was good because he won that day. He was world champion. Red Bull Media tell me it was going to be four split time. Then the riders cannot complain about they don't know why they lose the time. And I think this is sick. Bridge there, people jump all the way here. We go there. Oh, they go around. Bring his line all the way here and make the corner. So it's a little bit greasy, all this part. Then it's going to be really important for tire choice, for sure. Yep, long track, boys, long track. The line, I think, would be here on the left. All right, because you have another corner, but here on the left, boom, you go straight and enter into the steep section. Go, 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 go. Sick one right there. Boom, like I told you, it's all in one corner. Massive, massive roads between two lines. Oh, this is going to be gnarly. Block of cement. A block of cement, c'est Raoul. Block of cement, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, look at this. Now the mayor is speaking English. The turn. Yeah, the turn. Yeah. Yeah, Raoul. My mayor is the best. Like steep, long and long corner all the way to here. Because no public, no biking. Look at. Oh, beautiful stairs. Look at these stairs. To yeah, go to beautiful. The start again. To go to the start again. You can go up and down, boys. Up and down. Look. You know, old people need rope. We have the seniors team, except Joseph is still uh, between. This is the last section, boys, of the track. As you can see, some big maintenance. Track is meant. And as you can see, Raoul is showing us how beautiful the stair is done. Look at this. All right, let's. Whoa, almost crash. Holy fuck. <laughs> there, 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 there. It's new, it's fresh, and it's ready to go. Never stop improving the track. And the boys did unbelievable. It's super off camber, it's steep. There we go, that's a finish there. Last jump, rad, new section. Beautiful. Super stoked, I'm happy to introduce to you the World Cup Valno 2017. A lot more different than uh, last year. New lines, new sections. Is it going to rain or not? I don't know. But this is my course preview, my track walk with the UCI and Valno crew. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. That track is going to be gnarly. Don't miss it. I'm probably going to do a live on Facebook or something if you want to see. But I hope you enjoy. Like I say, don't forget to subscribe. I need your help and I want to do more video and I want to make you stoked. Then this is going to be the inside from Sede Gracia at the World Cup in Valno here. My hometown where I live, where I'm happy to be. Basically paradise. Thank you so much guys for watching. See you later.